Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel lab to learn IT. As discussed in this uh, in the previous video, uh, we are now going to install the PFSense firewall and do some initial configuration on it. Uh, the PFSense firewall can be downloaded by searching on the internet or uh, I'll provide you the link in the description. We will be using this PFSense firewall for connectivity, routing, DSCP services for our VMware, vSphere infrastructure. So let's get started. So uh, I'm going to create a PFSense VM. Click select new virtual machine. Let's click on next. I'm going to select the latest hardware compatibility from here. Click on next. Click on I'll install the operating system later. And from here you need to select uh, the because uh, this this uh, PFSense firewall is a free BSD based. Uh, uh, operating system based uh, appliance so we need to select the free BSD version 10 or earlier and then click on next once we do that we can give it a name so I'm giving it a name SPF sense and I'm also providing um, a location uh, on my hard drive where I want this uh, uh, PFSense firewall to create its uh, related files like virtual disk and other configuration files so let's keep the uh, number of processor to the default for the time being we can give it uh, the amount of RAM as one gigabyte click on next we can keep it on the default for the time being later on we will go and make the configure change to the network type click on next click on next click on next on the create virtual disk and then you can give it a virtual disk size so let's keep it 50 gigabyte I'm click uh, selecting store virtual disk at a single file click on next and then click on next and then click on finish so once you're done uh, your PFSense firewall is ready now we need to make sure uh, that we uh, select the Initially, as per the plan, we are going to select only two networks. Uh, one is the network uh, using which our firewall will take our infrastructure to the internet. So, for the first network adapter, I am selecting the bridge network. Uh, the bridge network, uh, when we select, make this selection, it actually takes an IP address from your uh, home router if you are running it on a workstation like uh, me so it takes an IP address from uh, from your local network and that becomes your internet IP address for this and we then need to click click on add to uh, add another network card once we click on network adapter we can go ahead and select LAN segment and the second network that I'm going to provide is the management network on which we are going to have our entire infrastructure like this uh, let me refer back to the the graphic that I shared earlier so here is the PFSense firewall here is the PFSense firewall that uh, we are uh, installing right now so for the time being we are only creating two network one is the bridge network that will connect us to the internet and the second is the management network that on which we will be having our all four ESXi servers along with the domain controller so let me pause it and uh, once we start the installation I'll be back so now as we have made the uh, network adjustment we need to now provide it the ISO of the PF sense that I downloaded from the internet so I'm going to my drive where I have kept the ISO and I have kept it in firewall and the latest version for the PFSense firewall is CE 2.6.0 as, as per now so let me click on open and then click on OK once we have provided the ISO we can click on power on the virtual machine and then follow the prompt on the screen as soon as you're on the screen you can click on enter yeah once you click on enter it starts installing the firewall so let's wait for a minute till the time it asks us for uh, some configuration changes the installation of PFSense firewall is it's pretty straightforward 
when you prompt it just select accept on this evil screen make sure the install pf sense is selected and then click on hit on enter okay click on uh, default key map click on default click with the default click ok again and then here it asks you to select the drive so in order to select it hit the space bar and you see then that an asterisk appears on the selected drive because we have a single drive so it should not be difficult for us so once we have made the selection click on ok and it gives us warning that all the data on the drive will be destroyed uh, on the selected drive will be destroyed so uh, we are okay with it hit enter and it starts the installation process so let's wait for the installation process to finish it's a pretty small installation so it should not take long um, let me pause the video for the time being so as we can see that the installation is finished now and it is asking us um, that before you exit the installation would you like to open the shell in the new system to make any final manual modification so we just select uh, click uh, we just have the default selection already done we just need to hit the enter and now it's asking for us to reboot so let's go ahead and reboot it so as now it is proceeding with the reboot let's uh, let me pause the video so as you can see the installation is complete and now uh, as, and now we are on a screen where it is asking us to do some configuration you can see by default uh, it has got the IP address from our uh, local router the IP address it got is 192.168.0.128 this is on the WAN interface so this is going to be our internet facing uh, IP address and for the LAN interface, it has given an IP address of 192.168.1. with a 24-bit subnet mask. So that's what we need to change as per our, our plan. And we discussed that uh, the IP address for our firewall is going to be 192.168.1.254. So let me make that change. So we click here. We go to uh, the option 2. We type option 2 and select hit enter once we select uh, hit enter it asks us to select the available interface so we need to press uh, because we are going to make configuration change on LAN interface so I'm uh, choosing the option 2 again so once I choose that it asks me to provide the IP address and the IP address that I'm going to provide is 192.168.1.254 once I have provided the IP address I need to hit enter again and now it asked me to provide the subnet mask information uh, subnet mask so I type the number 24 and then hit enter once I hit enter uh, we need to again hit enter for none and then enter for IPv6 we're not going to uh, configure IPv6 address so hit enter again once we uh, hit IP you know enter it's asking us if we would like to configure the DSCP on the LAN interface we'll be configuring the LAN interface uh, from the GUI so I'm choosing yes no so once we provide no it gives us the IP address of the uh, uh, with the uh, it gives us this URL using which we can configure it configure the firewall from our from the GUI which is this one so as far as the installation of the pfsense firewall is con concerned we are done with the installation and now we can access the gui portion of the firewall using this url so let me pause the video and uh, move to the workstation from where we will be accessing it again so we are now back on the administration workstation from where we are going to administer the firewall so uh, let me type the url that it provided us in the previous step so I'm typing the URL 254 is the IP address for a firewall so we can see that now we are able to access the the web interface of the pfSense firewall the default username and password for the firewall is uh, the username is admin and the IP the password for this firewall is pfSense 
you can see it and once we provide the password and username you can click on sign in and it gives us the screen to configure it further let me pause it here so that we can uh, configure the firewall in the next video thank you